Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or estate sales, or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist, and I'm always looking around for things that I think you guys might be interested in, or that I personally find interesting. And then I bring them home, try and find out as much as I can about them, and then let you guys know about them. So, here's what I've got today. So for once I have something incredibly tiny. <laughs> it is a teeny tiny little figurine. This is uh, this is a little figurine. I'm gonna hold him up to the camera so you can actually see him. This is called a Wade Whimsy. Oh, Wade Whimsy is this kind of the series. It is incredibly small. I've got dirt on my fingers. Um, this is a tiny little bush baby, and it's essentially this very very small little figurine. And you can see that his ears are a little bit, very slightly chipped, unfortunately. And there as well. <laughs> um, I actually picked up this guy because I thought I have wanted to do a video about Wade Whimsies. It's just I never had a chance to actually pick one up and actually show them to you. So I bought this guy for $3 Canadian in a thrift store. Um, I just kind of picked him up and I just thought, oh, OK, that looks very much like a Wade Whimsy. And then looked at the back and thought, oh, it is. Now, normally they would actually say, if this looks on focus, it would say Wade England. And you can see this just says England. It's right there at the base. So this one is a little bit older, but anyway, if you're going to try to measure him up, and he is so small. <laughs> okay, he is basically so small, but I don't think I can measure him properly, so we are going to break out the big guns for him, I think. And we're going to use this. This is my calipers. And basically, if I want to measure things that are incredibly small, I use these. And we're currently in India. I'm going to just leave it on inches, basically. So I can just open this thing up. He is 1.23 inches high. I'm trying to be careful not to actually damage him. And a little bit smaller, 1.1 inches across. Oh, 0.8 inches wide. There we go. Again, really only for very small things. I find it kind of useful because essentially, if you want to get really accurate measurements and you want and you and your measuring tape is a little bit too kind of big and unwieldy and there you go so here we go wade whimsies what do we actually know about these guys i'm just gonna put him down okay so the first thing you need to know about is basically red rose tea okay if you go into your average restaurant or whatever in in canada or in vancouver anyway of what i what i've noticed is that you're very likely if, if you just ask for like you know black tea what you're likely to get is, you know, a little packet of, you know, red rose tea and a cup of hot water or whatever. Um, I have to say, being Irish and being quite a bit used to actual quality tea, um, not really trying to catch too too much shade or whatever on <laughs> on Canadian tea in general, but in fairness, I do come from Ireland and the tea that I would have drunk my entire life is going to be Barry's or Lyons, which is incredibly strong black tea. Red rose tea, the number of times I've had it, tastes like nothing. It really doesn't. Anytime I've had it, I'm just like this. It basically tastes like water. Um, but that's really just a more of a... Yeah, it's really just an indication of the fact that I'm used to like a particular type of tea. This is definitely not it. This really just doesn't taste very good to me at all. And I think that's kind of to be expected. I know Canada is far more about the coffee than it is about the, the tea, these, you know. So make it that what you will. But anyway... Red Rose Tea, back in, I scroll down, yeah, back in 1967, they started essentially giving away little miniature glazed porcelain figurines made by Wade Pottery of England. Like, they sold tea and they gave away these little guys to go with them. And it's just like, you know, a little promotional kind of thing. And they do this, like, if they start off kind of in Canada and they, the earliest giveaways took to a place only in Quebec, Canada as part of a short-term promotion, but the promotion was soon extended to the whole country. So in Canada, Wade Whimsies kind of got going. And it was the first few series before 1983 
and he actually got started there. So around the 70s, here you go. During the 1970s, the United States test market for the figure was open in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Pacific Northwest states. So essentially there is definitely a, there's, there's like two series going on here. The first series is the Canadian one. And then later on, there's the American series that kind of starts off and that became, like, and, and there's kind of more stuff here. So the US Wade series here is the American series, 1983 to 85. Do we think that this little bush baby is from, is from the 1980s? No, not in fact. Although the Bush Baby was included in the American series, I don't think it's this, but before we do anything. So here we have the Canadian Red Rose series 1, 1967 to 1973. And it's going to be hard to see it, but there's our little Bush Baby here. The basic set consisted of 32 animal figurines, and you can see them all listed there. And one of them is right there, the Bush Baby. And you can see he looks very much like the one that we have here, including the little spots of colour. And that seems to be kind of more indicative about like exactly what series he is from. Now, if I stop, stop over to eBay quickly. Here we go. These are the recent sold listings for the Wade Whimsy's Bush Baby. And you can see the American Series 1. <laughs> Come on. The American Series 1 doesn't have the little spots of colour. It's just the plain little figurine. This one is specifically listed as the Canadian Animal Series Bush Baby, and that one does have the colour. This one obviously is a little bit different from our one here. And you can see that this one actually has black in the eyes as well, but it also has the, the correct colours, even if the glaze isn't great. So, all things considered, I think it's probably from the Canadian series, possibly from a different kind of, you know, different year or whatever than this guy. It seems to be kind of hard to tell. Um, but there seems to be fairly, a, you know, a fairly consistent kind of consensus here that the ones that have no colour are from the American series in the 1980s and that the this one, the Canadian one, is from like the mid 70s or earlier and it actually has little spots of colour on the, on the ears and down here the red and on the spots on the nose as well. That was not, it was obviously not replicating the American series. Um, and obviously this does give us a kind of an estimate as to... <laughs> Like what does what do these guys actually cost? What are they what are they worth? What do they sell for? And the answer is not really a whole lot. I paid again three dollars for them, just for the sake of doing a video, and I was not expecting much to be honest. But this is even less than what I was expecting. Like two of them here are selling for like seven dollars twenty seven twenty four Canadian, but the rest of the individual ones they're selling for like two bucks. So even less than what I actually paid for them. He was. As far as I can tell, not a good buy. I think if you collect them, they're probably they're probably pretty cool. And I can actually even take a look here. I'm gonna just change the if I can change the search filters to just look at the Wade Whimsies. And and here you go. If you're just looking at any of those sold, we've got like twelve hundred results and there's a lot of variation like all different types or whatever being sold, but you can see that the prices are all really low. <laughs> the tiny little figurines and they're quite cute, I think, but like there's just not, not a lot of them seem to sell for any kind of good money, I don't think. You probably have to know them fairly well to be able to recognize which ones are the very rare ones, but even the ones that, like you can see here, this is a Canadian animal series of a fox, that's selling for like six dollars. <laughs> It's just not great. That one, I gotta say, I kinda like. Little nautical mermaid. Some of them are very cute. It's just that there is not a whole lot of money in these. They're basically just, you know, cute and not really much else, unfortunately. So, so what is gonna happen to this guy? I'd say I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm just gonna give him back to the thrift store. Um, I did have him up on eBay for a while. I've had very little interest. I thought I'd put him up for like $5 just to see. No, it's not going to go anywhere. And again, this guy does have the very slight chips to the ears. So I can only assume that he's been left in like a box and possibly just tumbled around the place for a while and has taken a little bit of damage as a result. Which is unfortunate, but you know, what can you do? So there we go. I would say that in future, I'm probably not going to be picking up any more Wade Whimsies. Um, I did see a few others at the thrift store. I think I saw a little, um, a little figurine that looked like the king out of a, a deck of playing cards. But... I I don't I, they don't personally appeal to me 
that much. I would say if they are your thing, definitely go ahead and start collecting them because it looks like the market is down on them. So he's still kind of cute and hopefully somebody will really like him. There we go. This is my small joyful thing for the day. I hope you guys like it as well. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.